Everybody praise the Lord. Good morning on this wonderful day. How am I today? Always fine. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. How many of you would like a double dose this morning? Just double. You know, yesterday we should have dealt with uh, this uh, believer's power and authority. And I cannot see us missing that in such a retreat like this where I need to put something inside you that in the new year, I said in the new year, people that saw you before, they'll say, where are you coming from? There'll be a glory upon your life in Jesus' name. And you know, Moses went to the top of the mountain for just 40 days, and yours is only four days 23, 24, 25, 26, only four out of 40. But that same glory will be upon you in Jesus' name. And then, and then, the message that says advancing through adversity, because adversity is the university of progress. When you go through that, and then you come out of that university and i see you like this they'll call you a spiritual professor <laughs> praise the lord i just want to tell you this morning that god loves you and i love you and heaven loves you and the angels love you and jesus loves you and the holy ghost loves you and everybody loves you and there is no way you can fail you will never fail in jesus name why don't you just close your eyes as we enter into this power session the session of authority and the session when you enter into this spiritual university and you come out of this place today you'll never be the same again in jesus name father we thank you at this time we bless your name thank you because of what you have provided for your own children lord we pray everybody here every boy every girl and every youth and every adult father mother brother sister leaders and workers we enter into this authority and power this morning in jesus name we are asking, O oh Lord, that the power that makes us to stand and the power that makes us to overcome every challenge of life given to us in Jesus' name. I'm asking, O oh Lord, that the anointing will come upon your people. The authority and the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon your people in Jesus' name. Every sickness banished every affliction destroyed every yoke of the devil taken away the anointing that breaks the yoke pour upon everyone this morning in jesus name i will pray lord that your people will never be the same again confirm your word in every life oh lord in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. thank you very much and god bless every one of you i thought you'll say amen to that too we're looking at Luke chapter 9 verses 1 and 2. I'm talking about the believer's power and authority. And then inside that, I'll bring in advances through adversity. We're looking at the believer's power and authority coupled with your advance, your progress. And you're going to the top because you are going to make it in Jesus' name. In Luke chapter 9, I'm reading from verses 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Can I tell you there was no exception? He called every one of them, those 12 disciples, the high and the low, the inner circle and the outer circle, the first and the last, all of them without any exception. He gave them, and what he gives you are going to receive today. He gave them power and he gave them authority over all devils. Again, no exception, whether they are small small devils or great devils and whether they are big demons or little demons whether they're city demons or village demons he gave them power and he gave them authority over all devils and then to cure diseases all diseases too he has given that to us and we're going to receive it in jesus name 
and then after those 12 you know came to the 70 i was looking at luke chapter 10 i'm reading from verse i'm reading from verse 17 luke chapter 10 verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy you are returning home with joy you are returning back to your local churches with joy and the joy of the lord will be your strength in jesus name it says they return with joy and he, they said even the devils are subject unto us through thy name these were not apostles these were just like you and me these were the ordinary folks and the ordinary believers and the lord sent them out to buy you and everywhere he sent them and everywhere they wage whatever devil showed up whatever demon showed up whatever disease showed up whatever challenge or whatever difficulty they always overcame that's why i'm saying with the same power with the same anointing with the same authority we're going to overcome in jesus name and then jesus said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven satan will fall before you as we march out in the strength of the lord in the name of the lord everything that satan brings your way they will fall and be destroyed in jesus name and it was after that after they have seen a measure of victory a measure of triumph a measure of authority and power it was after that he told them look at what he told them in verse 19 he said behold i give unto you power this one is extra power this one is exploit power this one is extraordinary power this one is the one that goes beyond what you had before i'm sure that as a child of god you had some authority before today more is coming you had some power before today more is coming and it was after they got the victory already after they were triumphant that now he told them he said behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions will march over them will tread over them nothing will be able to oppress us anymore there'll be no yoke upon our neck upon our shoulders and there'll be no yoke upon our lives anymore because he says that will tread on serpents and scorpions and then he says over all the power of the enemy over all the power of the enemy over all the power of the enemy you know enemies I mean, enemies may come from different directions they are coming from the bottom they are coming from the heights they are coming from the village they are coming from the forest they are coming from the sea they are coming from any direction but over all the power of all the enemies and nothing shall by any means hurt you give me a good amen, amen. the believers power and authority three things to consider number one the authority and power of all believers the authority and the power of all believers any believer here this morning you are there you have authority you are there you have power the power the authority of the power the authority and the power of all believers number two the advance and the progress through barriers barriers are there challenges are there difficulties are there don't tell me there can be victory without a battle don't tell me you can be a conqueror without a conflict don't tell me you're going to wear the crown without a cross the barriers are there the challenges are there the difficulties are there but we're going to plow through and walk through and march through all those barriers and difficulties in jesus name with a spite of the challenges in spite of the difficulties in spite of the persecution in spite of the oppression we're going to advance and we're going to progress even through those barriers then number three now the anointing and the protection of his beloved the anointing and the protection of his beloved i come to number one the authority and the power of all believers i'm coming back to that look again chapter nine look again chapter nine i'm looking at verse one then he called his 12 disciples that word call is very important as many as he calls if he has called you called you to salvation he has called you he called you into the kingdom of god as many as he has called he gives them that power 
to become the children of God. He gives them the power to have the authority over every challenge of life. Just make sure that you are called. Number one, you are called to salvation. Number two, our calling is to sanctification and holiness. Make sure that that call, you respond to that call. You respect that call. You remain in that call. Number one, it is called to salvation. Number two, it's called to sanctification. Number three, a call to separation. It calls us out of the world. And it says, they are not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. And the people that have responded to that, and they have come out of the world, out of darkness, out of evil, out of their sin, out of the deeds and the works of the flesh. And it calls us, with that calling, unto a separated life. He told the children of Israel, I have severed you. I have separated you out of all the nations so that you'll be a peculiar treasure unto me this morning will be a peculiar treasure in jesus name that's why he says come out from among them and be ye separate says the lord and then he says i'll be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and my daughter says the lord almighty the call to salvation and the call to sanctification and the call to separation and the call now to service he called these people to service that's the reason he called them that's the reason he sent them out he wanted them to serve and they were willing to go anywhere everywhere and serve the lord and these people that abandoned themselves into the service of the lord is going to give you the key to succeed in that ministry it's going to give you the wherewithal and it's going to give you the authority and the power power to be able to succeed he called them to service and because they responded to that call that's the reason they were told that he gave them not just some of them all of them all of us today that power is coming in jesus name that authority is coming in jesus name he said he gave them power and he gave them authority over all devils and to kill diseases this day there will be no disease remaining among us in jesus name you tell me power their authority their power their authority their power their authority their power everybody power flowing from here power coming from there there'll be an explosion of power that all diseases and all sicknesses will vanish away in jesus name i'm looking at verse it says they sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick and that's what he has sent us to do and here this morning this is what the Lord is saying but how does this authority manifest how does this power manifest if he has given us authority and power how do we manifest that we're looking at Matthew chapter 8 Matthew chapter 8, I read there how the authority is manifested. And you need to understand when you have authority, when you have power. How do you exercise that power? How do you manifest and show and display that authority? In uh, Matthew chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 8. Matthew 8, verse 8, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed that's how to manifest authority you speak the word when you say i am healed and no devil can put any sickness on me that's the word of authority the sickness will vanish away when you say i am what the lord has called me to be and who he has called me to be and i'm going to do what he has called me to do you speak the word of authority then he says in verse 9 look at verse 9 for i am a man under authority i understand authority i've been under authority i've also exercised authority it says i know how authority works it works through the mouth and through the word of a person in position he has placed us he has made us to sit in heavenly places in christ jesus and by virtue of that position by virtue of that promotion we have the word of authority that's why he says i'm a man under authority having soldiers under me and i say that's the word of authority now i say and when you say that with authority you're not wondering will he obey will he not obey will the devil obey will the devil not obey will that disease obey will that disease not obey with all those challenges will they quit or will they remain when you speak that word of authority and that word comes out of you and you understand authority you manifest authority you exercise authority it says and i say unto this one go and he goeth and then i say unto that 
that other one come and he cometh and to my servant do this and he doeth it that man understood authority if you understand authority like that nothing will be able to resist your word or power and authority in jesus name then you look at verse 10 when jesus had it he marveled and said unto them that followed verily i say unto you i have not found so great faith no not in Israel. what he meant is i've not found somebody understanding spiritual authority like this man no not in the nation of israel and it is that authority that we have that puts the key in our hand and the key in the mouth and the word of authority and power in our mouth and we're able to subdue any enemy and every enemy it shall be done in jesus name if you believe you'll see the glory of god i said if you believe you'll see the glory of god we're looking at matthew chapter 16 verse 19 matthew chapter 16 verse 19 the authority is a key is a key to healing is the key to the gifts of the spirit it is the key to the deliverance it is the key to having our prayers answered it is the key to be able to have everything we mention and heaven will confirm it and this morning it will be so in jesus name matthew 16 verse 19 it says and i will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven that's the authority and then it says and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever 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 thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven you see a soldier will think a captain will think a centurion will think a person is the leader of a troop of an army he will think what am i going to do how do i direct the enemy how do i direct my troop as well go this way come this way march this way you must think how do you use your authority how do you use the key what are you going to buy this morning you look at your life you say uh -uh, this one must not go into the new year buy that thing it will be bound in heaven and then you say you look at your children this one must not go into the new year with my children and you buy that thing and it is bound in jesus name and you look at members of your family and you say that trait and that characteristic and that weakness and that kind of sickness and that disease and this peculiarity must not go with this member of my family into the new year and then you bind that thing the point is many people do not understand what do you bind what do you lose what do you take hold of and you say this in particular will not continue and when you say that with confidence and faith and authority it will be so in jesus name in that verse 19 it says whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever 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 is so broad whatsoever is so wide whatsoever is so great whatsoever means whatever it is anything spiritual or physical or natural what they call natural disaster it says whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven is the manifestation of, of the authority of the children of god and thank god this morning i have it i said i have it i said i have it you have it in jesus name we're looking at matthew chapter 18 verse 18 matthew chapter 18 verse 18 very i say unto you whatsoever you shall bind on earth he said that before if it had been said in different books let's say matthew and then mark will say maybe it's the same thing two people are recording if it had been said in the gospels and then in the epistles will say maybe the same thing they are saying but jesus repeats it in matthew he said i said it before and i'm doubling it i'm saying it the second time so that you will know this is definite and this is sure and nothing can contradict this that's why he mentioned it the second time and said verily i say surely as surely i say unto you that whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven it is already in jesus name can i show you one apostle one man one believer somebody that believes in the name of jesus and in the promises of somebody who has been called to salvation and called to separation and called to sanctification and called to service how that person like you and me how he manifested that authority acts of the apostles i'm reading from chapter 3 acts chapter 3 i'm reading from verse 4 
in Acts chapter 3 verse 4 here is what he says and, and Peter fasting his eyes upon him with John said look on us and that, that's the language of a man that has authority the language of a man that has assurance the language of a man that knows that this cannot fail that the key is in the name of Jesus the power is in the name of Jesus and that name cannot fail on earth and in heaven anywhere in the world against a sin against Against sickness against satan against demon against disease against all the messengers of death that name cannot fail that's why peter with confidence and assurance looked on that man and said look on us then he says in verse 5 and he gave unto them expecting to receive something of them and then peter said silver and gold have i none there's something greater than silver and gold there's something greater than money. There's something greater than all the properties of this world. There's something greater than all the sand and cement of this world. The name of Jesus, the power, the authority that he has given to the believer. And he says, silver and gold have I not, but what I have, I give unto you. Because he had been given the authority and the power. He knew that he had something. You know you have something this morning. I said, you know you have something this morning and then because of that assurance that this is what i have been given he said what i have i give unto you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk and it was exactly so because he had that power that same power that same authority given unto peter and john and to the rest of them the lord has given to us I said the Lord has given to us. That's why I'm reading again from Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 19. Behold, I give unto your power. I receive it. I said I receive it. I said I receive it. Behold, I give unto your power to tread on serpents and scorpions. To tread on serpents and scorpions. To tread on serpents and scorpions no power of any serpent spiritual serpent will be able to overcome you in jesus name no scorpion with any poison deadly poison will be able to hurt your life in jesus name anywhere you go in this wide world anywhere you go on this terrestrial land anywhere you go in this territory of the lord because the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof anywhere you go whether in the village in the town in the city or anywhere it says he gives you the power and then he says over all the power of the enemy and then he says nothing tell me the rest nothing shall by any means hurt me i said nothing shall by any means hurt me nothing shall by any means hurt me nothing shall by any means hurt me it will not hurt you in jesus name but what if there are challenges what if there are difficulties what if there are mountains what if there are hurdles what if there are you know some, some things that the devil throws on the way will that hinder the children of god from possessing let's ask joshua we say joshua the lord said every place the soul of your foot shall tread upon i have given that unto you and all those canaanites and the jebusites and the hivers and the whatever hivers they all came together and they said no way and then when god says there is a way there's nobody that can stop you nobody will stop your onward journey in jesus name and joshua defeated every one of them and we are going to defeat every one of them in jesus name i want to show you that whatever barriers there are don't look at those barriers we're still going to advance and we're still going to progress and whatever challenges may be before us whether the challenge is internal or external whether the challenge is at home or in the office whether the challenge is coming from your village or from the city we're going to overcome all those challenges in jesus name through it all through it all it makes us triumphant you know some people they say if i am going to have the victory how about this challenge that's why it's there for you to get through for you to walk through and for you to be able to move through and know that in spite of those barriers in spite of those difficulties in spite of those challenges in your life you're still going to overcome and you will overcome in jesus name look at exodus chapter 1 i'm reading from verses 11 and 12 Ex 
Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1. I'm reading there from verse 11 and verse 12. It says in verse 11, Exodus chapter 1, verse 11, it says, Therefore, did you set over them, that's masters, to afflict them with their body? That's the children of Israel. The Lord had promised them they were going to go to the promised land. And you are going to the promised land. And then after the promise came, then the devil with Pharaoh, with the magicians, with the Egyptians, with all the people conspiring together, they conspired against them and they afflicted them. Look at verse 12. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. The more they multiplied and grew. The barriers did not hinder their multiplication. Your barriers will not hinder your multiplication all those barriers and all the affliction did not hinder their growth and their promotion and their protection and their progress and all the barriers and difficulties and challenges before you will not hinder your progress in jesus name will not hinder your promotion and will not hinder all that god has promised you the more they afflicted them the more they multiplied and uh, grew and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Uh, let's look at Psalm 105 and see one man there. The man actually his story is in uh, Genesis, but the story is now retold to tell us that the barriers might be there, challenges might be there, difficulties might be there, and those uh, predicaments might be there. But even then, with it all, we're going to advance, we're going to make progress. I said we're going to advance, we're going to make progress. We're talking about Joseph, and you look at Psalm 105, reading from verse 16. Psalm 105, verse 16. Moreover, he called a famine upon the land, and he broke the whole staff of bread, and he sent a man before them. Even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, for a slave, you would have thought, is those the brothers of Joseph, the dream killers? that sold him uh, let us kill him and see what will become of his dream you know there are people always like that they surround you and then they say we're going to kill him we're going to kill his dream we're going to kill his vision we're going to stop his onward progress and we're going to stop his advance and then they do something whatever they do will move you closer and closer nearer and nearer to the fulfillment of that dream in jesus name because you see even though they said they were going to kill him somebody said don't kill him let's make money out of him you see the people they will do anything for money there's among believers like that i hope you're not like that they will do anything for money let us sell him so that we make money we get rid of him number one and that's all we want to do and then we also get money out of it and then they sold him into egypt but then it said it was the almighty god that permitted that how do you understand that all things work together for good to them that are the called of God those who are called according to his purpose selling Joseph into Egypt it God used that to bring him to the fulfillment of the great promise the Lord had given unto him and whatever happens to you the Lord is going to make it a fulfillment of whatever he has promised in your life in Jesus name it will turn every negative thing to be positive in Jesus name all the conspiracy of the enemy all the conspiracy of those uh, brothers of joseph the lord turned it around i want to tell you today there's a turning around i said there's a turning around all the maneuvering and all the imagination and all the manipulation of the enemy the lord is going to turn everything around and then to the top to the top to the top that top you will get there in jesus name and then that's why it says it wasn't them that sold him there and that wasn't just them it was god making a way and paving the way for him to get to the place where he ought to get to and he got there and you will get there verse 17 it says and he sent a man before them even joseph who was sold for a servant for his slave whose feet they hurt 
with fetters and he was laid in iron until the time that his word came and the word of the Lord tried him the word of the Lord examined him and tried him to know what kind of metal he had within him the word of the Lord tried him and then he says in verse 20 the king sent and he loosed him even the ruler of the people and let him go free you'll go free today in Jesus name all chains broken all shackle shattered all the six that bind you binding your leg you cannot move binding your hand you cannot walk and binding your mind you cannot think binding your brain and you cannot imagine you cannot visualize you cannot do anything all the things that bind you the lord is going to break and destroy everything today in jesus name he tells us in verse 21 he made him head he made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance to bind his princess at his pleasure and to teach his senators wisdom if god did it through that man is going to do it through you in jesus name in job chapter 42 you know the story of job adversity talk about that predicaments talk about that difficulties talk about that suffering talk about that he had it all this man job had destruction of almost everything but everything he lost he got everything back everything you have lost you're going to get back your family you're going to get it back in jesus name in your business you are going to get it back in jesus name every area of your life whatever it is that has been lost the lord is promising that as long as he lives and then you abide in the calling that has given you the call to salvation and a call to separation and a call to sanctification and a call to service as long as you abide in that call everything you have lost is going to grant back unto you in jesus name I'm looking at Job chapter 42. Job chapter 42. I'm reading there from verse 10. Job chapter 42. We're looking at it from verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. That's it. The Lord turned the captivity of Job. There's a turning around. All your captivity is turned around in Jesus' name. When he prayed for his friends, and also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The Lord gave Job how much? How much? twice as much as he had before. That means then today, that's why I told you, you are ready for the double blessing. You're ready for the double provision that twice as much as as what you have lost as everything you know you lost that you lost that you lost that you lost that god says don't worry about that today is the day of restoration and then he wants to give you back in your bosom he wants to give you back in your life twice as much as you miss as you lost then he tells us in verse 11 then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house god will give you another house and it says and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought that's what they thought that the lord had brought upon him every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold riches are coming in jesus name so the lord blessed the latter end of job more than his beginning i'm going to read that again and so the lord blessed the latter end of job more than his beginning i put my name there put your name there and so the lord blessed the latter end of more than is beginning read that again with your name and so the lord blessed the latter end of more than is beginning read it for yourself again better days have come greater days have come everything that you saw you know what you cried about stop the crying because now there is joy now there is happiness now there is gladness you know i used to have this never mind double welcome 
I used to have this, never mind, another thing will come. And then you say, I used to be very happy, I used to be very glad, I used to be just at least like this, I used to have this and this and this. But you know, the Lord blessed the latter edge of that man more than his beginning. What the devil thought he will do, he'll destroy the man, he'll destroy his family, he'll destroy his cattle, he'll destroy his property, he'll destroy his substance, he'll destroy even his self-confidence he'll destroy even the face he had and the lord bless the latter end of that man more than his beginning and god says i am god i change not what he did for him because it's god who is not partial he will do it for you as well in jesus name and then we're told look at it in verse 13 and he had also seven sons and three daughters and look at this look at what god has done he had some children and he lost those children but the lord said don't worry about that all the children you have lost i'm going to give you better children in jesus name and he called the name of the first jemima and the name of the second keziah and the name of the sword you know that long name there and then he was written he says and in all the land there was no woman found so fair so beautiful so wonderful as the daughters of this man job and their father gave them inheritance among their brethren after this job lived a hundred and forty years and saw his sons and his son's sons even for generations so job died being old and full of days it has happened again i said it has happened again advance and progress through barriers we're going to advance we're going to make progress in jesus name look at philippians chapter 1 philippians chapter 1 i'm reading there from verse 12 philippians chapter 1 and there we're reading from verse 12 you see what god does this is how he works every time if he allows anything in your life if he allows anything in my life it's because he wants to do something better he takes away the good to give us something better it takes away the normal to give us something supernatural it takes away what appears you know i need this i cannot do without this how is my life going to be if i don't have this if i don't have that he said don't worry about that and the devil might think that is the source of his joy that is the source of his livelihood here in life and he says i'm serving the lord i'm saved i'm sanctified i'm separated and then i'm going to serve the lord for the rest of my life and then he wants to disturb your life the devil is a liar I said the devil is a liar everything he has taken away you're going to get everything back in Jesus name uh, look at this in Philippians chapter 1 Philippians chapter 1 I'm reading there from verse 12 Philippians chapter 1 reading from verse 12 he said but i would you should understand brethren that the things which happened unto me are falling out rather unto the fordrance of the gospel he said don't feel sorry for me the things that happened to me they have added glory they have added success they have added progress he says they are falling out unto the fordrance of the gospel so that my bonds in christ are manifest in all the parlors and in all the other places and many of the brethren in the Lord a waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear Paul the apostle said did you hear there were thongs in the flesh for me did you hear that some things happened to me did you hear that I was even bound but but he said you know what the Lord has turned around everything and he has made all those things to become something that gives me advance and progress and then the spread of the gospel that's why I come here this morning bold enough to tell you whatever happened in your life until this hour and this moment everything will turn out for good in Jesus name we're looking at romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 if you believe what you are hearing you'll see the glory of god in your life you'll see blessings you have never seen you'll see miracles you have never seen and you will see a turning around you have never seen in your life before in jesus name romans chapter 8 verse 28 romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know you will know it I said you will know it and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God all things all things not some things not some things there are some people they say you know that one is good that one is bad that one lifts me up that one puts me down 
Why are people acting like this to me? Why do they do this and do this and do that? All things. We know this today. All things work together for good. All things work together for good. Everything that happens in your life, well, even if the devil is trying to do it, even if demons are trying to do it, even if wicked people are trying to do it, even if enemies are trying to do it, and even if friends, uh, uh, friends, uh, friendly foes are trying to do it, that is pretending friends, even if they're trying to trying to do it it says all things will work together for good in your life in jesus name and we know that all things work together for good to them that love god do you love god i said you love god well if you love god what have you got to worry about because all things will work together for good in your life and to them who are they called according to his purpose and now i come to number three the anointing and the protection of his beloved the anointing and the protection of his beloved and uh, to start with let me show you that he calls us beloved we're looking at first john chapter three first john chapter three he calls us beloved first john chapter three i read from verse one behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god therefore the world knoweth us not because he knew him not beloved that's who we are beloved that's who we are now are we the sons of god when you are a child of god you are saved by grace and you are separated from the evil of the world and then it sanctifies and purifies and makes you holy and it makes you righteous and then he even calls you to service he gives you the fourfold calling to salvation to sanctification to separation and then to service he says to become a beloved beloved now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and i pray that that will be confirmed in your life in jesus name and every man and every woman and every boy and every girl and every child of god and every believer every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure i'm looking at chapter 4 of first john first john chapter 4 i'm looking at verse 17 herein is our love made perfect herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is as he is it was the beloved of the father as he is it was the one that the father was well pleased with and then he says as he is so are we in this world so are we and so will you be in jesus name and if you are the beloved of the Lord, there is an anointing that abides upon your life. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. I'm reading there from verse 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God. He that establishes us with you and you with us and the whole body of Christ together, the whole church together is God and he is the one that has anointed us, anointed us. You are anointed in Jesus' name. And with that anointing comes protection. Is the anointing and the protection of his beloved in First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. I'm reading there from verse 20. First John chapter 2, verse 20. But ye have an unction that's still anointing from the Holy One. And ye know all things. Look at the first part of verse 27. But the anointing which ye have received abideth in you. The anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you when that anointing abides in us what does the anointing do what the, does the anointing do isaiah chapter 10 isaiah chapter 10 i'm reading from verse 25 and then verse 27 isaiah chapter 10 we're reading from verse 25 first and then we'll be looking at verse 27 chapter 10 verse 25 for yet a very little while and the indignation shall cease the wrath shall cease the oppression shall cease the affliction shall cease 
yet a very little while just a little while all the things that are negative that you see today around you in your life in your business in your family around you even in your ministry everything shall come to an end in jesus name and then in verse 27 and it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder that body that oppression will be taken away from off your, off your shoulder in jesus name and then it says and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because and the yoke shall be destroyed because and the indignation shall come to an end because and the oppression shall come to an end because because of the anointing that anointing that comes upon your life everything will take the yoke and take the burning and take the affliction take everything away in jesus name in Psalm 92, Psalm 92, the anointing that brings protection upon your life. Psalm 92, I'm reading there from verse 8. Psalm 92, reading from verse 8. Psalm 92, I'm reading from verse 8. For thou, Lord, art the most high forevermore. For lo, thy enemies, so Lord, for lo, thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Give me a good amen that's the word of the lord that's the word of the lord all the workers of iniquity all the workers of iniquity not one single remaining all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered be it confirmed in your life in my life in our church in jesus name but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn and i shall be anointed with fresh oil i shall be anointed with fresh oil you will be anointed with fresh oil in jesus name what does that anointing do when you're anointed like that i'm looking at psalm 23 i'm looking at psalm 23 actually i'm looking for just verse 5 but i cannot resist reading everything but i'm going to verse 5 look at it from verse 1 it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul I said he restoreth my soul i said he restoreth your soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they do what they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of in the presence of in the presence of that prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies here we come thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy goodness and mercy goodness and mercy i turn to the right i see goodness and mercy i turn to the left i see goodness and mercy i look all around me i see goodness and mercy i move into the village i see goodness and mercy i go to the city i see goodness and mercy i go to college i see goodness and mercy i go abroad i see goodness and mercy i stay at home i see goodness and mercy i'm in the retreat i see goodness and mercy i go back to my local church i see goodness and mercy and i say every Every day of the new year every month of the new year for the rest of my life this is the beginning of a new thing happening in your life in jesus name because assuredly without a shadow of that surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the lord how long forever and ever and ever and ever and ever it has happened already in jesus name 
I'm looking at Psalm 91, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm dwelling under the shadow of the Almighty. And the hand of the devil is not long enough to come and touch you and catch you under that shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me, deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night no for the arrow that flies by day not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness not for the destruction that wasteth at noon day a thousand a thousand a thousand a thousand a thousand keep on counting them keep on counting them you know that one has happened that one has happened that one has happened but wait until there is a thousand even a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come near thee it shall not come near thee this coming new year is going to be a wonderful year it's going to be a prosperous year it's going to be a year of protection a year of progress and a year of promotion and all the things we have been dreaming about and thinking about it is the new year that will bring them in jesus name it shall not come near thee only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come near the dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands angels will serve you angels will minister unto you they will see they will foresee all the pebbles and all the stones and all the stumbling blocks before you and before you get there they will lift you up because it says for they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder i said thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder i said thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder you know there's some people they are treading upon the lion and the adder and they are sitting down like this and they are treading upon the lion and the adder i'm saying that when we tread upon the lion and the adder where are they where are they all those scorpions and all those challenges all those difficulties and he says thou i said thou i said thou thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample where under your feet because he has set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him i will set him on high promotion has come for you and because he has known my name he shall call upon me and i will answer him god has answered your prayer this morning in jesus name i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him i will honor him and then with 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 how many people are going to live to old old age with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation god is going to show you something this morning his salvation his blessing his deliverance his protection his power his authority his anointing open your mouth and say lord i receive lord i accept it is mine it is mine it is mine tell the lord today tell the lord today there is an anointing that breaks the yoke there is an anointing that breaks the yoke there is an anointing that breaks the yoke there is there is there is an anointing that breaks the yoke when all things become possible in your life and then you speak that word of authority and power and nothing shall by, be able, by any means hurt you when god himself puts the word of authority and there was a power in your mouth and it says you are mine you are mine you are mine i know you and i love you you are the beloved of the lord you tell the lord you tell the lord it's the day of your victory
It's the day of your triumph. And it's the day when whatever barriers and whatever challenges and whatever predicament might be, you overcome. You become an overcomer. You become an overcomer. Don't worry about what the devil has done. The Lord is going to turn everything around. Turn everything around. Turn everything around in your life. Because all things are going to work together for good. All things are going to work together for good because you love God and you are the called according to his purpose his purpose in your life is going to be fulfilled cheer up cheer up cheer up rejoice because the purpose of the Lord in your life is going to be fulfilled you tell the Lord oh Lord I receive that 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 oh Lord I accept that that is mine that is mine that is mine that is mine it makes the angels to serve you it crushes all your enemies it destroys all the powers of darkness against your life and it makes it, it lifts you up and it brings you to the mountain top and it says everything i thought about in eternity before you were born before you came into this world i'm going to fulfill everything and there is no devil and there's no wicked man there's no wicked woman and there's no occultic man anywhere that can stop the hand of god and the blessing of god in your life he has come to give you the key the authority the power the anointing the protection the provision is come to give you everything this morning and he tells you that this is yours this is yours this is yours i was all your heart with all your soul with all your mind you can say oh lord thank you i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you lord because i accept it i receive it nobody can kill your dream and nobody can kill the vision because the lord has raised you up and he says you are mine you are the beloved of the lord you're a real child of god he has given you a calling and that calling of god is without repentance the lord is not going to say i didn't give you the calling anymore anymore the calling is there the calling is there the calling is there and no enemy shall be able to overturn that calling of god upon your life you tell the lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord i accept yes lord i receive i know it is mine i know it is mine i know it is mine and the lord says it is unto you he gives the key in your hand you tread on those serpents you tread on those scorpions you'll tread on the lion and the adder all those points not demons you're going to tread upon them and he gives you the victory 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 victory all the time victory all the time victory all the time all through the days of your life is the beginning of a new thing a new life a new life a new life a new life a new provision a new protection a new power a new authority that's what the lord has promised that's what he wants to do he has started doing it already no sickness will stop you no disease will stop you no evil spirit will stop you no evil power will stop you no enemy will stop you no adversary will stop you no adversity will stop you no challenge will stop you no barrier will stop you no mountain will stop you no sickness will stop you there is nothing coming from the pit of hell that can stop this move of god in your life and this promotion protection in your life and you're saying oh lord this is me oh lord this is me oh lord this is me i'm going to go through life victorious i'm going to go through life triumphant i'm going to go through life having all the promises of god to be yes and amen in my life the anointing abides on me the anointing abides on me and every yoke is broken the anointing abides on me and all the difficulties and challenges that are taken away they are not in abides on me and I receive and I receive and I receive and I receive I receive everything the Lord has given I receive everything the Lord has given you tell the Lord this is me this is me the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before for the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before and the Lord is giving you and the Lord is giving you twice as much as you had before twice as much anointing twice as much power twice as
as much victory twice as much triumph twice as much property twice as much belonging twice as much inheritance twice as much as you had before the lord says that's what i'm giving you today twice 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 as much as you had before and this is yours today this is yours today thank the lord and thank and say oh lord i thank you oh lord i thank you in spite of the adversity in spite of the of the challenges in spite of the oppression in spite of the affliction in spite of all the difficulties and all the problems i'm going to have i have it already twice as much 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 as i had before the lord is confirming that blessing upon your life right now is confirming that blessing upon your life right now is confirming that blessing upon your life right now it doesn't change he has not changed he says i'm god i change not and jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever and if you are the beloved of the lord he has called you and he calls you into blessing and he calls you into the multiplied basis of the kingdom and you're saying oh lord i accept oh lord i accept oh lord i receive oh lord i receive accept it it is so the key is now in your hand the word of authority is now in your mouth and the fulfillment of the promise of god yes and amen it comes in your life and never say anything negative about yourself after this morning never say anything that will make you retrogress and make you go back anytime again in your life and just understand this is a year coming for promotion the coming year for promotion the coming year for progress the coming year for prosperity the coming year is for protection and then you're saying everything that god has given i'm going to receive everything the lord has given i'm going to receive the lord is telling you a new day has begun a new year is beginning a new era is beginning in your life and you're saying oh lord here am i oh lord here am i confirm it in my life confirm it in my family confirm it in my ministry confirm it oh lord so that twice 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 as much as i had before you're giving unto me i'm receiving it right now i'm receiving it right now i'm receiving it right. tell the lord tell the lord and confirm your calling to salvation and confirm your calling to separation and confirm your calling to sanctification and confirm your calling to service and say oh lord this is where i stand and i'm going to have the blessing of the lord blessing of the lord blessing of the lord blessing of the lord let the lord confirm it to your life confirm it to your soul in your ministry in your family and everything around you it will turn around and blessings will place all the causes in your life the blessings of god the blessings of the lord will replace all the causes and all the reverses in your life because it's a day it's a day the lord has made for you for you to have the promotion and the protection and for you to have the progress that he had earmarked for you from all eternity and this is the day of fulfillment this is the day of fulfillment this is the day of fulfillment you are telling the lord now oh lord here am i oh lord here am i fulfill your word oh lord 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 upon my life fulfill your word in my ministry fulfill your word in my family fulfill your word in my surrounding fulfill your word in my home fulfill your word in my business fulfill your word according to your word oh lord that progress you promise that promotion you promise the promises that you have given me oh lord this must be the day of fulfillment and this will be the year this coming year is a year of fulfillment you tell the lord oh lord here am i here am i here am i i'm getting to that fulfillment i'm getting to that fulfillment a year of fulfillment a time of fulfillment a period of fulfillment it has come it has come job at this time joseph at this time jabez at this time and you have your time this is your day this is your time and this is the moment of fulfillment in your life and no sickness will stop you no affliction will stop you and there's no agent of satan that will be able to stop you because the day of fulfillment has come and the day of progress promotion has come 
all that has happened negatively before the lord is going to reverse 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 everything completely you tell the lord oh lord this is mine 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 let there be confirmation this morning let there be confirmation this day let there be confirmation in your heart in your life and say lord i accept lord i receive lord i accept lord i receive it is mine it shall be unto me even as it was said unto me it shall be 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 even as it was said even as it was said as it was said unto me it shall be let the lord in his mighty power let the Lord in pouring that anointing upon your life cancel, destroy everything the devil has put in your life. Let the Lord, let the Lord do it right now. Because it's the day of the fulfillment of the promise of God. It's the day of the fulfillment of that anointing, of that protection, and of that promise the Lord has given you. Joseph at this day, the day of fulfillment. Job at this day, the day of fulfillment. Paul at this day, the day of fulfillment. Peter and John, they are their day, their day of fulfillment. The disciples are their day, the day of fulfillment. The servants here, their day, the day of fulfillment. This is your day of fulfillment. This is your day of fulfillment. This is your day of fulfillment. You tell the Lord, O oh Lord, it is my day it is my day it is my day it is my day of fulfillment let it happen right now let it happen right now let the anointing that breaks the yoke the anointing that reverses every negative thing feel that anointing accept that anointing receive that anointing and stand up in that anointing and move on and march on in that anointing it is an anointing that cannot fail an anointing that cannot fail an anointing that cannot fail that the lord is bringing your way today and he said look at this day the day of a breakthrough for you and the day of a great mighty anointing for you and the day of the multiplied blessings of the lord upon your life this is the day claim it and receive it claim it and receive it claim it and receive it and say lord i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you because it is my day it is my day it is my day it is my day let nothing stop that anointing flowing let nothing stop that anointing multiplying let nothing stop even after this meeting after this day every day now for the rest of your life you walk in that anointing and you move in that anointing and you speak in that anointing and you exercise that anointing and you're making progress in that anointing and saying oh lord i thank you oh lord i thank you oh lord i thank you because an anointing comes upon your life that breaks every yoke and anointing comes upon your life that destroys every enemy and anointing comes upon your life that makes you to have that makes you to receive everything you ought to receive and anointing comes in your life that makes you extraordinary and then from now on you move on and you move on and you do exploits in the name of the lord do exploits in the name of the lord let the power flow let the power flow let the power flow let the power come upon your life unhindered unlimited in your life let the power the power of the lord the power of the lord that cannot be restricted let that power let that power let that power continue to flow in your life because there is an anointing that breaks every you there is an anointing that breaks every you there's an anointing that gives you the breakthrough and you're saying oh lord i accept oh lord i accept oh lord i receive this is my day the day of the multiplied blessings of the lord the day the day the day of the multiplied blessings of the Lord it has come it has come it has come yes it has come say Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you all the powers of the enemies they are all broken and destroyed and nothing 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 of the enemy manipulation will ever remain in your life after this moment moment of joy moment of triumph moment of victory moment of power at the moment of the fulfillment accomplishment of all the blessings of god upon your life what a day what a day what a day what a day 
wonderful day happy day glorious day day of victory in jesus name we pray let the victorious people say have you got it the anointing the protection the promotion have you got something new all the negative things of the past where are they now under your feet i said under your feet the serpents and the scorpions where are they now the disease and the sickness where are they now the poverty and the barrenness where are they now all the oppression and the crawling demons where are they now if they are under your feet what do you do to them i said if they are under your feet what do you do to them i said if they are under your feet what do you do to them and do it now what are you talking do it do it and march on them and overcome them in jesus name at this day i want to announce to you you stand on top of all the problems of your life and you're standing at the very door at the very gateway of the miracles and the breakthrough of your life in jesus name that spirit of death is cancelled in jesus name and all those enemies that wanted to kind of derail you and destroy there's great sin the lord has given you they are destroyed and taken out of the way in jesus name new life has come to you a new blessing has come to you a new possession has come to you a new protection has come upon you there is a wall of fire around you that no serpent no scorpion and no rabbit will be able to go through that wall of fire around you in jesus name you will not die young you will not die prematurely god will overload you with blessing every day in jesus name all the tears of the past today the lord has wiped them away and now long life beautiful long life prosperous long life happy long life victorious long life the lord will give to you in jesus name you will enjoy on earth and then the rest of the joy you are going to have eternal joy in heaven because surely because surely because surely because surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell you will dwell i said you will dwell in the house of the lord how long how long how long forever and ever in jesus name raise up your hand like me father in the name of jesus watch a day this wonderful day christmas day 25th of december 2011 all heart aches all disease all attack all affliction all enemies they flow away in the river of this past year in jesus name any disease represented here from the top of the head to the sole of the foot you disease i command you come out in jesus name any oppression any attack any affliction in the mind in the head in the brain in the ear in the eyes any part of your life i command all the affliction and all those activities of the devil come out in jesus name every yoke of the enemy all the works of the devil oh lord by the anointing that breaks and destroys the yoke i destroy them this morning in jesus name 
and i command all those enemies of progress in the life of any child of god here every child of god here i command you get out of their lives in jesus name i pronounce blessing i pronounce promotion i pronounce joy i pronounce victory i pronounce progress upon every child of god here today in jesus name the enemies you have seen until this day the afflictions you have seen until this day the heartache you have seen until this day and the tears you have seen until this day you will never see them again anymore in jesus name they will all be drowned in the red sea you leave them behind and you are moving on to the promised land your promised land oh lord i pray the people of god will enter at this time in jesus name i pray like you did for job you do it for everyone represented here today that you'll give them twice as much thrice as much quadruple as much as they ever had before in jesus name make this a new day make this a new moment and lord i pray that the door is open now and everybody will enter into the progress and promotion and promises of the following year in jesus name we thank you because we know you have answered we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray and everybody said and everybody said praise the lord you are no more in the valley i'll meet you on the mountain top